Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 128. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Enaba in the description down below. By the way, we still have a couple of days left before we can hit our tip goal. Remember, if we hit 30, we'll be doing, um, what's it called? Carrick Street. Day one. Hi, Daisy. I can hear your nose. I was just sniffing under the door. Woof woof. Burning passion when I look in your eyes. Yes, yeah. Are you afraid to be you? Oh, this is a full circuit. I gotta be careful. There's gonna be corners. Very good, very nice, very good, very nice. Hello, sexy banana. Hello, chicken nugget. Are you afraid to feel what you know is real? Like any other guy. When I look in your eyes, yeah. Holy fuck. Can't stop. Can't stop. Can't stop. Carry Not bad. Boop, 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 boop. 
Not bad. Good first lap. Time for lap number two. Numero dos. Uh, do you know what? Next stream, which is on Friday, we actually get to drive the Ferrari FXX. I'm so excited. That's going to be awesome. I love the Ferrari FXX. It's like a beautiful car. Absolutely stunning. I've been tempted so many times to drive it in like R3 category stuff, but I've deliberately not taken it for the sole reason that there is an exclusive event just for that one car. And I like want to. Honestly, I remember like, this was basically used by everyone as their outro song. It's a good song. Aerocord's a great artist, makes some banging tunes. Don't think he's made a song since 2019, though. Kind of curious, why? Might have rebranded and I just don't know. Who knows? Very nice. Very good, very nice. Good first lap here. Good second lap, sorry. This lap's been really smooth, actually. But that invisible engine brake light thing is really bugging me. You can see the engine through it. Ugh. Oh well, it's only a minor bug. And because this game is so solid all round. Do you know, I really... I genuinely think people that find bugs genuinely do stupid stuff in video games to try and find these bugs. Because the amount of video games that I actually have, like, experienced bugs in... I mean, I've had one bug in this game so far, and that was because the textures didn't load in properly. We didn't even get that on YouTube, like, on a recording. It was when I was doing thumbnails. So. And luckily the track loaded in for the second half, so I managed to get the thumbnail. It was kind of funny, actually. But, um, yeah, like, people that, they take videos of them, like, doing some stupid, like, vaulting or something like that. Like, oh look, I'm trying to climb onto this box and oh no, I've been flung into the air, like... No shit, Sherlock, you're a fucking idiot trying to vault onto a box that you shouldn't have been on. Like, by all means, you can say, haha, that's a funny bug. But like, you can't say, oh, this game's so broken, it's so bad because I did something wrong and the game didn't like it, flung me into the air through my own fault. So I'm going to hate the game for it. And I saw quite a few bugs for Cyberpunk. Like, obviously Cyberpunk was a buggy game. But the amount of people that were hating on, like, just traversal bugs and stuff like that. Where they were just trying to walk through places that they shouldn't go. And like, oh look, I've bugged through here. Whose fault is that other than my own? No one's. It's just my fault. You know. Purple dildo. That's a very random comment, Cotto. Purple dildo. Yeah, that, that low poly moment was fucking hilarious. I, I totally made that very personal because I had an Intel Pentium PC once. <laughs> that was a very personal attack. <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm very tempted to try and see if I can install Cuphead onto my Steam Deck. 
I wonder if you can install the Microsoft Store. FH5 release, I saw above every festival black box as placeholder for your garage. Oh, Yeah, that's not ideal. Doesn't break the game, though. There, the thing is, right, a lot of gamers nowadays want a fully immersive experience, which... I don't understand, because a lot of people... They want, like, this immersive, realistic-looking game. But the problem I find is, didn't people literally play games to avoid realism? Like, isn't one of the main selling points of video games is the fact that you can escape reality? So why do you want reality when you're trying to escape reality? I don't know. It seems strange. Like, for games like Forza, I understand graphics is kind of somewhat important because... I mean... You sort of want to be immersed in a car that you physically can't do in real life, so kind of makes sense. But at the same point, at the same time, Forza is a very ungraphically demanding game. It's a very basic game. You have this small area and these cars that go round it. It's not an open world game. So these open world games that focus too much on graphics, are, uh, I'm very much against the video gaming industry as a whole at the moment. I'll be totally honest. There's a lot of problems in the gaming industry that need fixing. But a majority of these problems stem from us gaming fans. And I say gaming fans very lightly because we're not really fans because we're destroying the gaming industry as a whole. People that play Fortnite and breathe Fortnite ruining the gaming industry because every other video game thinks that's what people want and that's what makes a good video game and sure those people that can play Fortnite and that can chuck loads of money at the game but it's there becomes a point where those people are going to get bored of Fortnite and they're going to try and find something else and they just can't because every other game is shit now because of Fortnite Articles. Very nice. People who go on about console wars are just idiots. The only console I think anyone can relatively shit on is the Xbox Series S. Because that genuinely is a console that's holding back the next gen. Like, the Xbox Series S, I have no clue what went through Microsoft's mind, but to make a console that's less powerful than their last generation, when the last generation was already struggling, seems stupid. Um, but, like, the Series X and the PS5, there's no fucking difference. Just pick a side and play it, and shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, it's very simple. Look at me. I mean, I don't have a Series X and a PS5 because I've only got the PS5. I play Xbox games. I play PS3 games. I play all of it. I am planning on upgrading from my Xbox One to a Series X at some point. I don't know when, but at some point. Probably sell my Xbox One X as well. If anyone wants a One X, let me know. I'll sell it to you for 50 quid. And so does Xbox as well. Xbox has exclusives. But then, if, if you're very much worried about... Oh, which... Ex oh, I've got to buy an Xbox and a PlayStation so that I can play the exclusives. Buy a PC, because it will cost the same amount. My PC costs the same as an Xbox Series X and a PS5. Combined. Okay? That's not even like a brag. But it can do both what the modern PS5 games can do and the modern Xbox games. It's a no-brainer. And if you're worried about space, you can get PCs that are smaller than this. And more powerful, still costs the same amount. Oh, but I need a mouse and keyboard. No, you don't. Like, you can run Windows pretty much with only a mouse now. A tiny little mouse cursor. Which can technically be controlled by a PS5 controller. Or a PS4 controller. 
If you get DS for Windows and have it launch as soon as you load it, you can use your PS5 controller as a mouse instantly. Problem solved. On-screen keyboard, fuck yeah. Like, Windows is such a versatile operating system. Like, there is literally zero excuse. Yeah, some monitors actually do have touchscreen now. I think I'd get pissed off because I'd accidentally touch it and it would do stuff. As much as I think it's a cool idea, I think I'd stick with touchscreenless. Um, but there are people that would find it useful and I, good on them, like, that's, that's the problem, like, people should just use what they're comfortable with. And then if you're playing with, like, a friend that's got a different system, use Discord. Because Discord is the best platform to, like, chat on when you're on different platforms. And if you're on PC, you know, it's best. Today I won't touch myself, I will touch a monitor. Very nice. <laughs> That's Hans's daily motivational quote. Tune in tomorrow for Hans's daily motivational quote. <laughs> shut up, Kondo. I'm warning you now. I've told you to shut up about that many times. Now shut it. <laughs> beep, beep, doo, 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 beep, beep. Alabamian. Do 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 You've been the last time, you know we're gonna find you. So get in the car seat, cause you're not up to going. Completing our mission. You hear the last time, you know we're gonna find you. So get in the car seat, cause you're not up to going. Next, not been paying rent. <laughs> I mean, I physically can't. Still unemployed, mate. <laughs> Could be changing soon. Fairly soon. This time next month, I will. I can guarantee I'll be in a job. Probably will have been in there for a week. I have two, two that I'm really eyeing my eyes. Uh, uh, can't even fucking speak. I've got two that I'm looking at. The interview that I've got next, um, preferably isn't the one I want to go for. But it is one of the only ones that's actually offered me a proper interview. So, you know, that's a bonus. But um, there's also another one that I'm, I've applied for that's been really sort of on it with, you know, interview stuff. So I'm hoping that if, if I get a response from them before I get a response from the other one, I'll take their, their offer. I'll take num- No. Yes. It's basically either a, a, a food place or a phone company. So, I'm obviously going to try and take the phone company. And if that gets offered up beforehand, straight on it. So you're not up to go in. Basically, the phone company has like five days to get back to me before I go to the interview. So, I hope they get back beforehand and give me the chance and then I can, you know. I'd still go to both interviews, but it gives me a chance to be, get that one first, you know. Because I'm a fan of mobile phone. Sebring!
All right, we're here on uh, Seabring now. Rum, 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 rum. Wow. The Ferraris have crashed into each other. What a beautiful sight. I think I've worked out why my FPS is stuttering. <clears throat> but, because I think I know what the cause is, um, I can't fix it until probably after Christmas. I believe because I'm on a Wi-Fi extender, and the Wi-Fi is, well, it's not very stable upstairs for some reason. Like... Wi-Fi in general is never stable anyway, so when it comes to streaming, it's not a great idea. But, um, I basically just need to get my Wi-Fi extender from my old place. It's still there. I forgot to bring it. So, I've got to bring it at some point. Oh, that reminds me, I need to ask tonight if... I'll ask tomorrow. I've got family coming up. Um, this Saturday, so I'm going to ask them if they can... Pick up some of my bits and bobs that are left. And bring them up. Namely my chair. I really want to get my fucking chair. This bitch is uncomfortable. I still can't believe that start. It was just unbelievable.
Nyaum. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. Why don't we done with innocence? Monkey Wrench. I don't really understand why this song's called Monkey Wrench. It's a weird one. My revenge One in ten One in ten Don't wanna be your monkey wrench I don't know why but this Ferrari feels a little It sounds a little like it's got a I assume this is a V8 then in this Ferrari and not a V12. Or a V10. But it probably is a V12. It just, it doesn't sound v 12 It doesn't sound very Ferrari. You know that really high, like... It's just not very high, you know. Right, one more lap. Let's go. Uh, I'm trying to do this one handed. I want to eat chocolate. Ow. Yum. I fucking love Cadbury's at the moment.
Come on, get back on. There we go. Two Foo Fighters songs back to back. Very nice. Me no complain, I like. Me likey likey. Right. Come on. Nice. Make my way back home as I learn to fly. Not bad. Right, let's get our rewards for this. Just surprisingly, right, it's been an hour 37 minutes and we've actually finished two episodes already. Which means we are 20 minutes, sorry, 30 minutes ahead of schedule. Now, let's see, can we continue that in the GT1 Invitational or will we throw that all in the bin and be behind again? <laughs> I hope not. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.